For four years, this woman was emotionally and sexually abused by her partner. She left him in the weeks ahead of the lockdown. During the first week of lockdown, domestic violence cases reported to French authorities rose by over 30 percent. To make it easier to sound the alarm, the government announced that alerts can now be made in pharmacies. After a several-day lag, pharmacists have been given guidelines and information to advise women. Temporary support centers are also being set up outside of some supermarkets. But there are only eight planned nationwide, and this one has seen no visitors so far. Il faut quand même euh, du courage à ces dames qui sont dans, dans, dans ce centre commercial pour oser quitter la queue. C'est pour ça que notre affichage non seulement indique le point éphémère, mais aussi donne les coordonnées de notre association. During confinement, even calling can be complicated. Before the lockdown, this shelter would receive as many as 10 calls a day. Actuellement, on n'en a quasiment pas. Euh, pour vous dire, aujourd'hui, j'ai reçu aucun appel. On a des dames qui nous expliquent que c'est pas toujours évident de trouver le bon moment parce qu'elles sont pas toujours seules. Euh, parfois, leur compagnon est au domicile. For those who leave home, the government has agreed to pay for 20,000 overnight stays in hotels and shelters. But many more permanent solutions will have to wait. Il y a une espèce d'inertie euh, aujourd'hui dans certaines démarches. Le confinement fait qu'on ne traite que les urgences, par exemple au niveau du tribunal. Filing for divorce is one procedure that has been put on hold. Associations say they're bracing for another wave of women seeking help once the confinement period ends.